Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel. Today I'm doing this music festival makeup look. I'm gonna be showing you how to get long lasting, sweat proof, budge free makeup so that you can have a look that will stay on the entire time. I've done this combination of makeup for all types of music festivals. I did this yesterday when I was outside for six hours on a rooftop boat cruise and my makeup did not budge. So if you're interested in seeing how you can create this look and just overall get makeup that will last you a long, long time, then keep watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any new content coming out. So let's get started and I'll show you how to get this look. Okay, so I went ahead and started with my eyes and did those off camera, but a couple things you should know. If you can, I would always use an eyeshadow primer before you put on your eyeshadow. Um, if you don't have one, you can always use a concealer or put your foundation on and then set it with some setting powder. But if you want the longevity throughout the entire day, I highly, highly recommend getting your hands on an eyeshadow primer. So I went ahead and used the Benefit Air Patrol eyeshadow primer and put that down first and then just patted that in with my finger and set it with powder. And then I used the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette, with which I just got my hands on and I'm super, super excited about it. Today I used this like rose gold shade and then I have this on my brow bone and then I use some of these like matte um, tan warm tone colors like in my eye you can see so this is kind of like a pretty rose gold like sunset eye that I was going for it's currently sold out right now but they are going to be restocking it and there's a million different options of eyeshadows um, morphe is great but you can use whatever eyeshadow you have depending on the look you want to create for your festival on my eyes, I also have the Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner in the shade Ro Coco. If you're looking for a high-end eyeliner, I absolutely love these. They last all day long. The Urban Decay 24-7 um, eyeliners are also really, really great. I also have some Ardell uh, Wispy lashes on right now. and. It's up to you if you want to use false lashes. For me, that completely finishes off a look. I also did my brows off camera, so I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Definer Pencil. This, to me, just fills them in great. I have, like, really big natural brows, um, but this stays on all day long. It doesn't move, and then I also set it with a Ready Set Brow from Benefit. Um, this kind of like makes my brows like a little bit harder or like they dry a little bit harder, which I don't love But again, it doesn't sweat off my brows are done for the day and it's not gonna move So I use these two together um, to get this brow So there's a couple things I'm gonna go in order of how I would always do my makeup and give you some options of high-end and drugstore products so first, I'm going to prime my face. I personally am a huge fan of the Maybelline primers. This one is in Blur and Illuminate. Um, I have combination skin, so I get a little bit oily in like my T-zone, and then I'm really dry like down by my chin and on my cheeks. So this one is great for me because it kind of gives like a little bit of a glow. But a high-end product that I love is the Porefessional by Benefit. This is crazy good. It completely blurs your pores and fills everything but in. These two are really great options, and I'm going to do the Maybelline first today. So you can kind of take a little bit on your finger. I kind of use more than, like, you probably should, but that's okay. And I'm just going to rub this in. And then I always miss my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. This product has a lot of hype around it, and for a good reason. Ever since I started using this, I swear my makeup looks flawless. I prime my face with this and then I also set my face with this. Um, it just keeps everything on and this is a step that I really highly recommend doing. Um, there are some other face misters that are cheaper than this one if you want to try a different um, brand, but if you want to splurge, I highly recommend this. And then, so today for foundation, again, I'm going to give you two options. I'm going to be using the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation, 15-hour wear hydrating foundation. I am obsessed with this foundation. Um, it seriously lasts forever. I wore this yesterday on a six-hour boat cruise, and I was on a rooftop deck the entire time, and I did not sweat. I swear this stayed on the entire day. So I highly recommend this. Another option is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is a drugstore brand. Um, it's awesome. It really stays on all day long. 
and it's a great price so this is kind of like a dupe I would use either one but today I'm gonna go with Smashbox and I'm just gonna apply this on my face I have my summer tan starting to come in so this looks very light but um, I'm kind of gonna like color correct as I go the damp um, beauty blender I'm gonna blend this in this foundation definitely is like medium coverage which is great and you can build on it for sure so if you're someone who's like obsessed with full coverage you can definitely get there with this and you can never blend enough obviously as you're about to see me do I blend my face until I feel like completely satisfied take your foundation down to your neck of course so your neck and your face are in two different colors okay now that my foundation's done I'm still gonna go and conceal a couple of these little red spots that are sticking through and for me the NARS creamy concealer in custard is my go-to um, this is definitely more on the high-end side but like nothing covers my blemishes as well as this concealer does so it's a must for me and then I'm just gonna blend that in with my beauty blender again I go really light-handed when I do this because I don't want like look at that you for real lightly lightly patted in and I'm the type of person like I don't know if you're this way but like everyone has blemishes I don't really care they don't need to be completely covered it is what it is you know I'm freaking human my current favorite um, concealers um, from the drugstore is the Maybelline fit me concealer this is awesome it's really great coverage it's on the cheaper end and I love it I just think it's a really good concealer so Maybelline fit me This is also like this blends out so nicely I'm gonna go right down my nose and on my chin and then I'm gonna blend this in you can also put some on your forehead I like didn't this time but usually I do blend 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 like can you see that how much it's covered already it's like crazy I don't think that the Maybelline has a great range of colors as far as concealer goes, but um, if you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend trying this out. Now I need to set that, so I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, this is on the high-end side, but there is no powder like this. I'm absolutely obsessed. I think I've gone through like three of these tubs already, but it's just absolutely flawless so I'm gonna be setting my whole face and my under eye with this something a little bit more affordable the RCMA translucent setting powder which everyone talks about is also awesome um, it's kind of annoying to get the product out of this I think it can kind of be a little wasteful but um, this is a good option for setting your face I'm gonna bake a little bit under my eye I'm not gonna leave it on for long but you want to set your concealer down my nose looking good now this is a trick I learned from Manny MUA who's a huge beauty blogger but um, since I kind of can get dry what I do is I'm gonna apply this powder on the areas that I want to set my face and then I'm pretty much immediately after gonna blend it in with the other side this is a damp beauty blender it really sets in my makeup but then I don't get dried out so I find that this makes my makeup last the longest this is like the crucial step so I'm just gonna put it on my chin because that's where I can get a little dry but I have some breakouts I want to cover cover my lines that little pimple probably come down here I'm gonna put my bronzer on next and I'm gonna set my forehead because this is where I get hella oily great never looked better in my life okay and now I'm pretty much gonna immediately blend this in with the damp beauty blender I'm gonna leave the baking under my eye because I just really like to let that soak into the, the oil on my skin okay so the bronzer that I'm loving right now is the Laura Mercier bronzer looks like this in 04 um, I find that this, you know, for me, I'm sort of like a beige skin tone is a really, really pretty color. I put that on like pretty generously um, around my face with a Morphe brush. Like I said, this foundation is like pretty light on me right now, so I kind of like want to use a little bit of extra bronzer. 
but I do this along my hairline to give like a little bit of a smaller forehead. And then I'm gonna contour my face a little bit, but really just kind of like bronze up the cheeks. And I'm gonna come under my chin. Cut that jawline. Now be careful, you don't wanna put it like on your chin because that's not gonna help like make this look like a nice cut line. You really wanna go under and then blend it into your neck. That's kind of why the powder is here to like cover that up a little. Now today for blush, I'm gonna be using uh, the Milani Baked Blush. These are in the drugstore, um, they're really affordable and these are freaking amazing. Um, this is in Luminoso, I'm sure you've heard a million people talk about this color. I'm using like a Morphe um, blush brush. And I'm just gonna stamp that in. I like to keep it on, I don't really come in close, I really like to keep it like higher up. And as you can tell, this deposits a lot of color, like it's no joke. And then to highlight, there's like a million different highlight ways you can go. Um, I'm personally loving the Tardis Pro Glow to go. They have these two gorgeous um, highlight shades on top. They're pretty light, but they are freaking intense and I'm absolutely loving them. It's called Gleam and Burst. And I have a MAC brush for this, a MAC 100. I'm gonna combine both and put them on the high points of my cheek. Bitch. And then I go right over my eyebrow. Like, are you real? Highlighting might be my favorite part. I don't know. Bronzer or highlight. And then I take a tiny bit on my pinky and I put it like at the tip of my nose. And I go right down the middle. Nothing aggressive. I don't want like a super shiny ass nose. And I highlight my cupid bow. Okay, I'm gonna dust away the baking under my eye, which has set my under eye. Which, like, look how nice that looks. Flawless. I'm just gonna blend away. So we have like a sharp line under my bronzer. Okay, so I just finished off my eyes. I just put a lot of that like warm um, browns and reds and like really smoked out my lower lash line. And then I applied the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, which I love. This shit is amazing. Um, I put it on my lower lash line and then I blended in um, my top lashes into the falsies that I have on. Now I'm gonna do a lip. I personally would go with a liquid lipstick because they're gonna last all day long. Um, there's a couple different brands you could use. It totally depends on what you like, but I always use Ofra Cosmetics. They're amazing. Um, you have to order them online. Um, I also love the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. Those are really great, and the Kylie Cosmetics can be kind of drying, but I love her colors. So those three, I kind of always go between. They are so creamy, but they dry down and they last forever. It, to me, it's the most comfortable liquid lipstick on the market. Absolutely love this color. I feel like for my skin tone, this is like such a pretty like brown, but it's still like my lips but like darker which I love so this is Mocha by Ofra Cosmetics and then to complete this and seal it in again you should always be using a face setting spray that is what is gonna lock this in and keep it on for the entire music festival Urban Decay um, all nighter makeup setting spray I think this is amazing I wore this yesterday on the little boat cruise that I went on and my makeup didn't budge Just, you know, good douse all over your face. <laughs> and let this sink in. But, if you can see, this is the completed look. I think it came out awesome. I'm a huge fan of this. Love the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This foundation, to me, just makes me feel flawless and I don't feel like I have a ton of makeup on even though you just saw me layer my face with makeup but I just think my skin looks really nice and natural like it's like a demi matte I still feel like I have this like glow to my face and I look healthy and I just really really am obsessed so I think 
the priming of your face, choosing a long wearing foundation, setting with powder, and then using a setting spray are like the top four things you're gonna need to get a long lasting makeup look. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you enjoyed watching me create this look. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this a like if you enjoyed. You can also follow me on Instagram at Emma Capotis and on Snapchat at Hey There Emma. I post all my videos and photos from the shows I go to on there. Thanks for watching. Bye.